Good morning, everybody. It is your host, your girl, your niece, whoever Kirk Franklin says. I am Salandia Hammond, affectionately known as Sue Hell, baby. And I am so glad that you guys are here this morning on the Midweek Wednesday Motivation, Empowerment, and Business Call. Whew, I had to catch my breath. <laughs> Y'all, I am geeked up, amped. Up, I am energized. I am excited. Why? Because you guys are here on the call with me. Because, guys, you have the free will, the option to be anywhere else in the world today. But you decided to give me 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes of your time on this glorious Wednesday, March 19, 2014. And for those of you that came on the call early, because I had my early birds, I had some uh, music playing, uh, 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 music playing and whatnot. Um, Tasha Cobbs, I think that's her name, Break Every Chain. Well, I thought that was fitting, the song for today, because, you know, last week we played Happy. I gave you 10 tips on how to stay happy. Well, I felt like this week it was fitting to play Tasha Cobbs' Break Every Chain because today, guys, I want to talk to you about breaking the chains so that you can create opportunities. Breaking the chains so that you can create opportunities. Now, for some of you that are just getting on the call for the first time, just a brief synopsis of who I am. I'm not this crazy girl. Well, maybe I am. That's yelling down the phone. But, uh, again, you know, Salandia Hammond, a.k.a. Sue Ham Baby, came from humble beginnings, guys, but I always wanted big things. You know what I'm saying? We uh, we lived in a small home. We worked in the fields, picked cucumber, picked uh, beans, and all of that stuff. But, guys, uh, ever since I was young, I've always created opportunities. I wanted a Michael Jackson coat because I love Michael Jackson. We didn't have the money to buy it. So guess what? In the third grade, during the summer, because I wanted that coat, I didn't allow the fact that we didn't have money to stop me from getting that coat. I created an opportunity, guys. I went and worked in the cucumber field, saved my money, and went and got my Michael Jackson coat. So, guys, you can create opportunities no matter the circumstance, no matter what's going on. But grew up in humble beginnings, um, always wanted to do big things, be on the stages, entertain, be in movies and stage plays. Got scared, decided to go into the military, the Marine Corps. Did my time there about eight years, ten months, had enough of it, said I was getting out and I was going to be famous and people were going to know my name. And guys, when I got out, I went and got a job. <laughs> Get a job. Da, na, 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 na. That's what I did. I proclaimed to those people that I was going to travel the world and be famous and finally live out my passion. But old fear got a hold of Sue Ham, and I went and I got a job. So, guys, um, got a job after a while, relocated home, a place where I said I would never come back to. Came back home, and actually it is at home where I experienced all of my blessings, in a place where it is barren, in a place where they say it is dead, there is no growth, in a place when you look around, if you don't have spiritual eyes, all you see is um, poverty. But, you know, once I got my spiritual eyes on, all I began to see was possibility. So I came back home. I actually uh, started working a job at the prison, with fi doing finances at the prison. But anybody that's ever worked at a federal prison or a state prison, it doesn't matter what your job is, your first obligation is to be a correctional worker officer first. So um, I didn't care for the job, hated it. Um, but nonetheless, I was able to get into real estate, um, rehabbing properties and what have you. Um, I worked at USDA first. That's how I learned about rehabbing properties, taking them and turning them around and selling them. And then I went on to the prison because I was chasing that money. Chasing that money, got to the prison, didn't like it, and realized that chasing money is not the way to go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But anyways, I had over 16 income-producing units, guys. I was making some serious money. I mean, hand over fist. You know, anything I wanted, I got it. I wasn't told no. And uh, I was living high on the hog, and we're talking about a country girl, you know, who didn't have much, you know, come from a poor family, um, but God always saw it's through. And uh, here it is now, I'm investing in other people's dreams, investing in their projects and their businesses, and then, guys, the well went dry. All my money left, woo-wee, I lost the house I was actually living in, I lost all my um, my uh, my um 
my properties that I was uh, renting out. I lost all my vehicles. They came and pulled, y'all. They came and pulled my two, my, uh, my, uh, at the time, it was, uh, when did they come and get it? I think it was 2009. They came and took my new Cadillac Escalade ESV, y'all, the long version. They came and took it out the yard. <laughs> and my kids had to see that. My kids had to see that I had to move up out of my house because I was, I lost everything. Um, lost my dignity. Well, not really my dignity, but I was depressed, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and I just felt like, you know, it was over. But here's the thing. I was chasing money, guys, and chasing money almost killed me. But in chasing that money, I learned one thing. I didn't know it while I was chasing it. It wasn't until after I lost everything that, guys, I was I was a millionaire. I had over a million dollars in assets and in liquid cash and uh, didn't even know it. Didn't even know it until it was all gone, guys. That's ridiculous. So, But I said that to say this. I grew up in a poverty area. I left here and said I was never coming back, and I actually came back. Came back. Guys, I've been blessed to be a published author right here in this area where they say nothing can grow. I've been blessed to write write and perform and direct three stage plays, guys. I've been blessed to create my own TV show, my own radio show. I've been blessed to create businesses. I've been blessed to create online courses. So what am I saying, guys? I I gave you that story to lead into the topic today. You've got to break the chains and create your opportunities. Break the chain of fear. Break the chain of thinking you're not adequate. Break the chain of I don't have enough knowledge. Break the chain of, oh, my goodness, look at where I live. Therefore, I cannot do anything. And I, why, why can I tell you that? Because I had those chains on my life. I used to think that because of where I'm from, I could never do stage plays. I could never get on TV. Guys, I'm on TV a lot. I don't care if it's being interviewed because of my book or, or, or because of an event I'm doing. I'm on TV a lot. Guys, right here living in this poor dunk place that I said – I would never excel in. God has taken me to levels that I cannot even fathom, and he's not even done yet. Now, I'm not saying that to harp on me, guys. I'm saying that because I'm a living example, and I want to let you know that it doesn't matter where you are, guys. You can break those chains and create opportunities. If Martin Luther King Jr. didn't break the chains of uh, wanting freedom for everybody, guys, who's to say where we would be right now? So just because it hasn't been done or just because somebody looks looks at the situation and thinks that it cannot be done, guys, I want you to know that you have the power invested in you to make it so. You can make it do what you say. Uh? Make it do what you say. So, guys, I want to go ahead and get into the call. For those of you who don't know me, now you have been brought up to speed, and hopefully in getting to know me, you have been encouraged to know that it doesn't matter where you are, you can make this happen. Now, I see people still popping on the call. One thing y'all going to learn is that old Sue Hemp baby gets started early, baby. But here's the great thing about this call, guys. Yeah, I did press the recording button. We are recording this thing. So you can go back and listen to it over and over and over again, get all the great nuggets. But more importantly, guys, come on, more importantly, don't be stingy, man. Share this call. Share this call with somebody because somebody needs to know how to break the chains and create opportunities so that they can live on purpose, so they can start those businesses. So without further ado, we're going to get into the call. I'm going to let you all know. Stay to the end because um, I'm going to open it up on this particular call. You know, it it just depends on how I feel, but I feel like today I need to open this call up and let a couple of y'all speak. So stay to the end. I'll get your comments or I'll take on your questions, okay? Um. I want to go back and do real quick some quick housekeeping, okay? Guys, make sure if you want to catch me this weekend, there's a women's retreat in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Guys, I always tell you, go to my Facebook page. If we are not Facebook friends, get on there right now. Salondia Hammond, S-U-L-O-N-D-I-A, Hammond, H-A-M-M-O-N-D. And, guys, if you want to sign up for this women's retreat, it's going to be off the chain, I'm telling you. Just simply call the number 843-605. One six zero eight, and guys, you know we're always doing killer webinars every week. Well, last night I did a killer webinar with uh, my coach um, Terry Clay, and we also had Coach Lakeisha Maddox on there. And if you guys are looking for a replay of that webinar, go on to my um, Facebook page, and you'll be able to get that replay of the webinar. Killer webinar. We were giving away free advice on how you can make a thousand dollars a day or at least have a $1,000 a day like we've had. I've been able to, I've been blessed 
It ain't it ain't just me. By the power invested in me by God, I have been blessed to be able to make thousands of dollars online by getting speaking engagements and selling products and services, guys. So definitely check out that webinar to be posted on my Facebook page, okay, as well as my fan page, Sue Ham. And if you are looking at how to get to me, find me on Facebook, then just go to my website, SueHam.com, S-U-E-H-A-M.com. Okay, and we and last but not least, I am also going to be teaching a class at the SHB Hair Show and Expo June 29th and 30th, and you can find that information on my fan page and my personal Facebook page as well. Now, I just wanted to do the housekeeping real early because, like I said, I'm going to open up the call to let you guys speak a little bit later on. But we're about to go ahead and get into this thing. Some of y'all might have said, why is she playing Tasha Cobbs? I thought this was a motivation empowerment business call why is she playing gospel well i make no apologies all my help comes from god okay so i'm gonna let you know i might switch it every now and then i might go r&b i might go hip-hop and i might bring it right on back to gospel okay because if you study all of the great self-help books i don't care what they tell you it's all linked to biblical principles when they tell you to invest in other people that's tithing when they tell you the law of attraction you know to think it and it happens to feel it well as a man thinketh so is he <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it, it's all related to biblical principles so hopefully i didn't offend you and if i did then i guess i'm just going to lose a listener because i make no apologies for giving god the praise so let's keep it moving baby so guys I told you how I came up, right? Come from a poor family. We didn't have much, but the Lord saw us through. Basically, what am I saying? We broke the chains, guys, and we created opportunities. Now, I'm telling you today that you can break chains and create opportunities, okay? I want to tell you about a couple people. I didn't have the pleasure of knowing them, but I read about their story. Uh, Had they not broken the chain, guys, and created opportunities, we wouldn't experience some of the great things that we experience now. I want to tell you about Thomas Edison. Guys, did you know that Thomas Edison's teacher said he was too stupid to learn anything? Too stupid, guys. Thomas Edison. Now, in case you don't know who Thomas Edison is, this guy went on to to have over a 1,000 patents. This guy went on to create the movie camera. This guy went on to create the electrical lamp. But they put chains on him, y'all. They told him he was too stupid to learn anything anything, yet he is arguably one of the smartest and most creative men to ever walk this earth. Guys, what am I saying to you? Don't allow how others perceive you, how others feel about you, how they think about you to define who you are. It is time for you to break that chain, step out of the mold, step out of the box, guys, and don't allow people to control what you think about yourself or what you do. It is time to break chains and create opportunities. Opportunities because I know had Thomas Edison had listened to that dumb teacher, or let me take that back, had listened to that uninformed, ill advised teacher, guys, he would not have created the opportunities and have over a thousand patents today. L- let me go a little further with Colonel Sanders, guys. Y'all know, Cur- mm, and I love me some KFC, even though I love Bojangles more, but Colonel Sanders, guys. <laughs> This man, he was fired from dozens of jobs before he went on to create KFC, to create KFC. Now, had this man given up because he had been fired from job 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? Guys, had he let the fact that he couldn't hold a job keep him down, we wouldn't be mm, eating a finger looking good today, okay? What am I saying to you guys? With Colonel Sanders, that tells me that it is okay to fail. It's okay to fail, guys, because if you are failing from taking action, that tells me that you got up off the couch and you did something. But if you are failing because of inaction, then that's a problem. If you are failing because you're lazy, then that's a problem. If you are failing because you are afraid, then that's a problem. If you are failing because of the criticism and the ridicule you may endure, then, guys, that's a problem. You need to break those chains and create opportunities. And stick with me, guys. I'm going to tell you how you can create opportunities, okay? I'm not just going to – I'm not one of those persons that just continually yell and tell you what to do. Guys, I'm actually that type of person that I want to give you strategies to implement because I don't believe in getting you – 
hoorah, hoorah, and, uh, you know, get you hooping and hollering for the moment and feeling high, but then you go home and you on a low. I want to give you strategies, guys. I want to give you tools and strategies that you can implement to keep that high rolling even after this call. So let's go on. Let's talk about Einstein, guys. Mm. Let's talk about Einstein. Y'all know Einstein. Probably one of the smartest men to walk this earth. Now he looked a little weird, didn't he? <laughs> he looked a little weird. But 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 but, I, but how many of you know that weird really is just a form of genius? At least in my mind, when somebody says that 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 cat is weird or strange, peculiar, they stand out. That in my mind is just a form of genius. You understand? Because oftentimes it's the ones that walk alone. Oftentimes it's the ones that are weird. Those are the ones that are the genius. Those are the ones that are the visionaries, the trailblazers. Those are the ones that are the creators that make things pop, make things happen. You understand what I'm saying? So Einstein, he looked a little crazy. He looked a little crazy. (laughs) But Einstein, guys, as a child, did you know that he had difficulty communicating and learning in a traditional way? One of the smartest men that God created on this earth had difficulties learning and communicating in a traditional way. And you know I love to use the Einstein quote that imagination is the preview of life's coming attraction, meaning that what you see in your mind's eye first, it will will materialize, it will manifest as long as you put some action into it. Well, this guy, yeah, the one that I quote very often, had difficulties learning and communicating. But I'm here to tell you that Einstein broke the chain. He broke this chain and he created opportunities. And as a result of him creating opportunities, we have E equals MC squared. And not only that, this man went on to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah, the dude that uh, had problems learning, the dude that had problems communicating. Mm Mm-hmm. He's a Nobel Nobel Peace Prize winner. Now, let me tell you about another lady that I know, and I hope to have the pleasure of meeting one day, Oprah Winfrey. Did you guys know that she was fired from TV? She was sexually harassed. She was criticized. She was ostracized because of the way she looked. But I'm here to tell you guys that most times when you're ostracized and criticized, you are the ones that God is going to utilize. Huh? Take that quote. You didn't know I was a rapper. When you are ostracized and criticized, most oftentimes you are the one that God is going to utilize because he's building you up. He's positioning you for greater. He's building you up to create your opportunity. Guys, Oprah Winfrey was harassed. She was fired from her TV jobs. And today, guys, Oprah Winfrey is the queen of talk TV show, and she has been the queen for at least two, three decades. Oprah Winfrey could have easily let the chains break her. But instead, she broke the chains and she created opportunity. She knew what she was put here to do, and it didn't matter what forces came against her. She was going to create opportunity and make it happen. Now, guys, I want to tell you about another lady. Hang with me here now. I want to tell you about another lady, and that lady is me. Guys, I... <laughs> I want you to know that this concept of creating opportunity, this concept of dreaming, it applies to everybody. You've got to make it happen. I don't care if you want to become a public speaker and no one is hiring you. You've got to create your own audience by having free webinars, set up a seminar, or speak an event where you're the main speaker. Make videos. You guys hear me preaching that all the time on Facebook. Make videos. Videos are the way to get yourself exposed, to get your message out. I'm encouraging you to blog, and last but not least, go out there and network, guys. I just gave you ways to create opportunities before I even get into my story. So what did I say? Go out there, create your own events, host free webinars, set up speaking events, you know, make videos, guys, blog and network. If you're a singer or a rapper and you want your music out there, put on your own concerts. Give away your music. Blast it all over the Internet. Look for opportunities to showcase your skills. You've got to hustle and grind, and you've got to hustle and grind hard. You've got to create opportunities. Guys, going back to me. When I wanted to write plays and act, 
there was no mentor around for me to talk to. I didn't have nobody to go up and say, hey, how do I write a play? Okay, how do I, you know, how am I supposed to act? What are my facial expressions? There was nobody I could talk to about that. Remember, I'm back in the area where, you know, people look around and see poverty, but now, thank God, I see possibilities. You know, so I had to do my homework. I didn't let that deter me. I wanted to break the chains, okay? I wanted to break the chains of of using excuses and saying, well, I don't have anybody to talk to to get it started, so I guess I won't be getting it started. No, 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 no. I took on the mindset of the Black Eyed Peas. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started in here. I took on that mindset. So, guys, you know what I did? I did all my homework by going to every single professional play that came around my home. That meant I had to travel anywhere between an hour and a half to three hours, guys, to go sit in that audience to learn as an audience member what was going on, how they did this, and how they did that. I learned by trial and error. I wasn't prideful, guys. I wanted to live my dreams, so I created my own opportunities. I didn't have no elaborate stage sets like Tyler Perry, you know. I wanted those big sets. I ain't going to lie to you. Now, them things are tight. But I didn't have the money for it, guys. But, again, I broke the chains. I wasn't going to allow excuses of, oh, my set is not going to look as good as Tyler Perry to keep me from doing what it is I was created to do, guys. You know what I'm saying? I went ahead and created my own opportunities. I wanted to act. So I wrote my own stage plays because nobody around here was doing stage plays that I could go to a casting call for. I wanted to get an entertainment. Didn't nobody, well, nobody was doing TV shows around here. I didn't know how to become a part of anything. So I wrote my own plays to tell my story so that I could act. I created opportunities, guys, and I eliminated excuses. Now, I wanted to be on TV, guys. And some of you out there, you want to be on TV, but nobody is hiring you, right? We'll create the opportunity. When Oprah Winfrey's network, that's right, I I auditioned for the Oprah Winfrey network. When they turned me down, I created my very own show on a local station in 2011. Now, you see, nobody was casting around here for no TV shows. But, guys, instead of being dead in the water, instead of letting the chains keep me bondage, I decided to break the chains, guys. What did I do? I got off the couch. I decided to make a move. I did the research once again. you, You notice the current theme? It's taking action, it's doing research, and then it's making it happen. You know what's the theme of this of this call? Take action, do the research, make it happen. So I did the research, guys, and then I reached out to my family members, and I was like, guys, I want to do this show, and they got on board, guys, and we did it. We made it happen. The opportunity to be on TV was not there. I created it. Let me go even deeper, guys. This was after the repossessions. This was after filing bankruptcy. This was after the foreclosures. This was after the bank account dried up. I had issues like the the woman at the well, guys. This was after. I wanted to be on TV, so I created these opportunities. Guys, and guess what? When I went out to the TV station, I didn't have the money to fund these shows. They gave me credit. What am I saying to you guys? When you break the chains and take action, do the research and make it happen, it's unbelievable the opportunity that will be laid out for you, the resources that will come your way. Guys, there is no way to explain it. I should have never had credit to do these shows. My credit was shot. You understand me? I I had over a million dollars in debt on my credit, okay? There was no way I should have gotten credit from this TV station, but, guys, I got it. So what am I saying to you? Stop making excuses. Create your opportunities. When you create opportunities and perform with excellence, people will take notice, and then the windows and doors of heaven shall pour out blessings, guys, that you have no room to receive. You will have to bless somebody else. So don't be a hater. Now, I don't normally use that word. Don't be a hater. Don't be stingy. Give somebody else. Give it to somebody else. Invest in them. Somebody gave to you. Somebody blessed somebody's heart to extend me credit for this TV show. So then I went out and I started putting people on the show that I knew could sing, giving them publicity, free publicity. I started soliciting actors, you know, soliciting comedians to be on the show, giving them free publicity. And this local TV station was airing in multiple states, guys. So we were getting some serious exposure. And I could have been stingy. But no, guys, I wanted to give it away to somebody else. What am I saying to you guys? Get started. 
at the end of the day, get started. Break the chains, get started, create opportunities. Don't wait for the perfect moment because it's non-existent. Create your path. Let your light shine so that it inspires others to follow you, to help you, to give you tutelage, and to bless you. God, how bad do you want it? For me, I wanted it like I needed food, like I needed the air to breathe, like I needed God to grant me strength. Guys, I wanted it like I needed it. I'm telling you to start from where you are. Use what you have. Your gift will make room for you. Do not give up. Don't quit. Make it happen for yourself. If there's one thing that I have learned, one thing, there are only three people that are responsible for my success, and that is me, myself, and I. So, guys, if you want to create opportunities, take action, do the research, Make it happen. Condition yourself to be prepared. That's right. Stormy Wellington says, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. So that means condition yourself to be prepared. At all times, be prepared for the opportunity. Number two, be a good person. Because karma rewards good people, you know what I'm saying? Good karma, it comes back around to you. And when you're a good person, when you're a positive person, when you look like you're trying to do something, people will help you. But if you're negative, if you're always in sticky situations, if you quote-unquote labeled a hater, ain't nobody got time for that. Number three, improve your leadership skills. Show that you're a leader. How do I do that, Sue? Start conducting classes. Start investing in yourself and going to seminars. Start doing your own webinars. Start doing videos and giving people tips. Show them, Teach them about your business or tell them about a great book that you just read so that they can open up their minds, you know what I'm saying, and go places that they've never been before. Number four, move. 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 And if you ain't going to move, like Ludacris said, get out the way. Because I'm moving. Guys, don't be paralyzed. you got to keep going forward. Take action. That's all move means. Take action. Keep going forward. Keep the tunnel vision. Keep your eyes on the prize. Look at that finish line. Imagine yourself there and keep it moving. Number five, got to take risks. you got to create challenges, create the opportunities. I didn't know anything about a TV show, guys. I didn't know anything about a radio show, but I created both of them. I know I wanted to be on them. I know I wanted one. And ain't nobody was putting old Sue Ham on one so I could sit here and wait and hope and wish and not work. Or I could sit here and hope and wish and have faith and work and create my own opportunities and make people take notice by performing excellent on everything that I do. And that's what I did, guys. I created the opportunities. I broke the chains of not having enough money. When I wanted to do my radio show, I didn't have the money, guys. So I went to kickstarter.com, and I raised the money to do my my radio show. I raised the money to do my radio show, kickstarter.com. You see, where there's a will, there is a way. I was on the Internet researching how was I going to do this. Guys, I came across a post that says, hey, Kickstarter will help you raise money for creative projects. And I was like, boom, that's it. See, guys, when you go looking for things, what, what happens? You find them. When you knock, what happens? the door is open. When you ask what happens, it is given. So guys, you got to be proactive, man. You got to move. You got to get off the couch and take action. So that's what I did. I went to Kickstarter and I raised the money, guys, and I had my radio show. And I was able to interview such great people, man. Great, great, great people that I probably shouldn't have even had access to. But when you are favored and chosen, but more importantly, when you take action, Walk in your purpose, break the chains, and create opportunities. You will be amazed at all the things that you can accomplish. So I mean, I hope y'all are taking this in, man. I, I don't, I don't know how else to break it down to you. Every Wednesday, I come on here and I try to encourage you. I try to be a leading example with my life. But that's all you got to do, guys. I'm telling you, it's as simple as that. And at this time. Y'all know I always attempt, whenever I I do allow you guys to speak, to open up the calls and see what we can get going on here. If you um, want to make a comment, I want you to hit star six. I think that's going to put you in my question queue. So hit star six if you want to make a comment about the call or if you have a question. 
I thank you guys for sticking with me. We got a lot of y'all on the call this morning. And, you know, uh, while we're waiting for someone to uh, hit star six and ask a question or either state a comment, I want you guys to know that uh, we have this call every Wednesday at 9 a.m. I had somebody call me last week, and they were upset with me, and they were like, I'm upset for two things. And I was like, well, what's up? They was like, one, the call is not every day. Two, the call is only 15 minutes. You need to go to 30 minutes. I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought I was doing something because at least I was taking action. <laughs> but, guys, these calls are recorded, and you can catch the recorded call um on Facebook, and I am going to start putting them on my website. So give me a while. Um, I'll try to get the calls on my website, all of the calls that we've had thus far. So I don't see anybody in the question queue. Here's what I'm going to do. Um, Maybe I need to unmute you first. Let's see. Um, Caller with the last four digits, 7806. Okay, you should be able to speak. Glenn, you should be able to speak. Good morning, Sister Suham. Good morning, Glenn. Before you say anything, woohoo! I'm, I'm, I'm patting myself on the back. I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to figure this thing out for the longest on how I can let people speak. But I, okay, anyways, I digress. Good morning, Glenn. How are you, baby? Fantastic. And yourself? Oh man, I'm loving. I'm loving life, and I'm loving you to life. I'm just feeling blessed for being a part of your call this morning. Thank you for everything that was said. Uh, just looking forward to taking it to the next level and appreciate everything you're doing to make that happen. Awesome, awesome. Oh, man, thank you so much for your comments. We appreciate it. We hope to see you back next Wednesday at 9 a.m. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> okay. All right, Glenn, you take care. Okay, looks like we had somebody else in the question queue. Uh, they went away. I guess I was taking too long. Guys, if you got a question, go ahead and uh, hit star six. Star six if you got a question or if you want to make a comment like Glenn. Glenn, we thank you so much. Glenn and I actually connected on Facebook. I've never met him, but that's the beauty of the Internet, guys. For those of you that have businesses, use the Internet for everything that it's worth, okay? Use the Internet to gain exposure. Use the Internet to brand yourself. Use the Internet to land speaking engagements. Um, it was because of the Internet that I'm getting all of these speaking engagements right now, and I get to go this weekend and lounge at a beautiful condo for the next two to three days and um, participate in a women's um, conference, and it's all paid for. I get a speaking fee, and my hotel accommodations are paid for. So, guys, what am I saying? Use the Internet. So um, do we have anyone else that want to say something? I want you to hit your star six, star six. Okay. We have Mr. Maurice. Mr. Maurice, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Suham. How are you? I am great, great, great. Thank you for calling in. Yes, ma'am. Um, thank you for you. Um, I was laying here this morning. My eyes was heavy. You know, I'm a full-time student working on finals project and, uh, didn't want to get up this morning, but the minute that I heard, good morning, everybody, from the great Suham baby, that was enough to get me going. And I thank you for you and all that you do for the community, the inspiration that you provide, and I just wanted to let it be known I am forever grateful for, for being a part of you and your team. Thank you. Awesome, Maurice. Thank you so much for calling in. Man, I'm so glad my voice didn't annoy you, and instead it actually employed you to get up. That's what I'm talking about. Anybody else, comment or question, star six, star six, comment or question. I'm so happy I figured out how to use this thing. Okay, we got somebody else here. Let's see, uh, last four digits or 4500. State your name and uh, go ahead and your comment or your question. Uh, Yes, my name is Lamonte. Hey, Lamonte. Uh, uh, The question I had is um, are there any local sources that you can – help someone with a grant or something like that for businesses. Um, I've had a grant for, I had a uh, proposal written up for now about a couple of years, and mm-hmm. I've been having difficult for somebody to show them the right person I need to talk to to review it and find out mm-hmm. was there any grants locally in South Carolina. Okay, Lamonte, I do have a lady who's point of contact. She actually did my grant application for me. Um, I know that she is a writer, and um Is she still doing that? I'm not certain. A lot of people are getting away from it. But if you will shoot an email, shoot an email to suham1, S-U-E-H-A-M-1, 
at I Yahoo. Just, I, I just friend you on on Facebook. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Send me an inbox, and I will get you that information uh, expeditiously. Okay. Thank you, Lamonte. You have a great day. I right, thank you. Okay, we've got Miss Tracy on the line. Tracy, go ahead. Good morning, Miss Sue. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I am doing well, even though I sound like Barry White with his bronchitis. It's all right. <laughs> We're going to work it out anyway. Um, I just wanted to thank you, and I don't know if you've noticed already, um, I just updated my Facebook status. Uh, my focus for 2000 now through the rest of 2014 and beyond is to create opportunities. I love it. That is something that's already been kind of starting up in my life. Mm-hmm. but I didn't recognize it for what it was. But now that you put a name to it and I see it for what it is, I'm getting ready to run with it. And I think it is actually, not only am I getting ready to run with it, I'm getting ready to teach my 15-year-old how to do the same thing. Um, short story, she has created her own uh, nonprofit involving using poetry with youth, and she came to me earlier this month and said, Mom, I want to work this summer. And I was like, no, nah, you need to focus on studies so you can make that big dollars with this degree later. And then I started thinking about it, and I went back to her and I said, you want to work? Why do you want to work somebody's nine-to-five for minimum wage when you have a proposal for a project wow. that if we pitch it to the right people at 15 years old, you can be contracted to work in summer programs to do your own product program, not somebody else's. And her eyes got big, and she's like, you think I can do that? And I said, do I think you can do that? Mama's already talked to a couple of people, and they're waiting on you to call them. Wow. And she was like, wow. So <laughs> not only am I going to create my own opportunities, I'm going to teach my little one how to create her own opportunities so that she doesn't have to be uh, waiting for somebody else to give her a chance. She can make her own chances. Awesome. I thank you so much, Tracy, for sharing that. Guys, that's important, man. (laughs) Not only do we create our own opportunities, but we teach our children because, you know, the Bible does say uh, train the child in the way they ought to go. Let me just say I am not a biblical um, uh, expert or anything like that, but like I said, I've read so many self-help books, and if you take it and compare it to the Bible, they're teaching you the same principles. They're just speaking in modern-day English. That's all it is. So, But I do believe that we need to train the kids up and teach them um, how to create opportunities, whether it be on a job, because some people are meant to go to a job and bless others on a job, or whether it's meant to start your own business. I just happen to be a serial entrepreneur. But, guys, don't get it twisted. For 20 years I was on a job as a Marine at the USDA, at the Department of Defense, at the federal prison, but I love working for myself. Even when I hated going to a job, guys, I still use that opportunity to bless other people, to encourage them. So if you're at a job, guys, I want to encourage you to stay motivated as you work towards opening your business, if that is your desire, or if it is your desire to be the CEO or just to be the best person you can be at the position you are, stay motivated, guys. Break the chains and create opportunities. Anybody else want to speak real quick? Star six, star six. We're going to actually limit it to about 60 seconds. Star six, star six. Guys, if you've enjoyed this call, uh, please go ahead and slam my Facebook wall. Slam it, guys, and put on there about the call was great, how it has helped you. Invite 25, 50 people to the call next week. Again, I'll have the recorded version on Facebook, and I'm working on getting all the recorded versions on my website. And if you guys are ever looking for any coaching, guys, hit me up on my inbox on Facebook or send me an email to suham1 at yahoo.com, S-U-E-H-A-M, the number one, at yahoo.com. Going once, going twice, uh, star six, if you want to make that comment, star six. Okay. Well, guys, I think it's only fitting that I close the call out with this right here. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power. Break every chain, break every 
Right now, I need you guys to declare that the chains are broken. I need you to go out there and live the best life that you can live. Come on, guys. Let's make this happen. Break the chains and create opportunity. My name is Solandia Hammond, affectionately known as Sue Ham Baby, and I'm encouraging you to break those chains and create those opportunities. Remember to live, love, learn, and laugh. Don't quit. Follow your dreams to success. You guys go and create those opportunities. I'm loving you to life.